Bucs fans are not at all surprised about the hiring of Cutter. For many, his hiring is still overshadowed, though, by the firing of Lovey Smith. News Channel 8's Rod Carter joins us live in Tampa with this part of the story. Hey, Rod. Hey, Stacey. You know, a lot of fans are absolutely hopeful that this will be a good thing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It is a new era for the Buccaneers. Again. They have been down this road time and time again, and that is precisely the problem, according to one former player. He says this team needs consistency. Out with the old and in with the new. Fans will start seeing a lot more of Dirk Cutter billboards already in the air, ushering in a new era of Buccaneer football. It wasn't a surprise at all. But some fans, like superfan Kareem Franco McGill, who dresses the part at every single game as a member of the group What the Buck, is still wondering what happened and wondering what no more love for Lovey will really do. I'm worried about the chemistry of the team and how they want to respond to it. Uh, I feel like a lot of the players have started to adapt to Lovey in his ways, and um, I think they had a good chemistry, a good bond. I talked to former player Chidi Ahanatu by phone today as he was headed out of town. He told me he's still in shock about Lovey Smith. I'm a big proponent of trying to get stability in our coaches, and that has not been the case over the last decade or so. Ahanatu, who played for the Buccaneers from 93 to 2000 and again in 2004, told me he thinks fans are to blame for every constant coaching change, having desires for immediate success with every coach. But I think our fans have an unrealistic expectation, but I believe our ownership pretty much takes its cue from the fans, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's another thing that's upset me. I wish our fans would, you know, stop doing that, be patient, and let us really just built something. Still, he tells me he wishes nothing but the best for Dirk Cutter. I hope he has a boatload of success. Uh, I know he's a great offensive coordinator and from his days with the Falcons, but I don't know how good of a head coach he'll be. You know, that's yet to be seen. And as you just heard, Cheedy says he wishes nothing but the best for uh, Dirk Cutter. Their kids both attend the same school. He's met him a couple of times and says he really is a good guy. Stacy. All right, Rod. Rod Carter reporting live tonight. Thank you. And we will have continuing coverage of the Bucks promoting Dirk Cutter to the head coach all the way through News Channel 8 at 11 o'clock tonight. And coming up in about 15 minutes in sports, Dan Lucas sits down one-on-one -on -one with the new head coach. So keep it here for that.